we're making these gloves. They're worsted yarn, and uh, this is like Vanna's Choice or any worsted yarn. I love this yarn. This is that's what it's called. But any worsted yarn, which is a number four, would be okay. And I'm using size eight knitting needles. And so this is the way they look. So they're very pretty. So let's go on with this. This is the way it looks when it's open. And I cast it on 35 stitches and I did 12 rows of ribbing, which is knit one, pro one, knit one, pro one, knit one, pro one. And you end with knit one because when you sew it, you want to have these two forming one stitch and then uh, on the way back you're going to prune it, prune it, prune it, prune it and end with a purl. So that's the way it is and then we do have a video on how to do the rice stitch which is this one and on the right side you knit, prune it, prune it, pro and with a knit and then on the wrong side you only knit. So you do that for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 rows. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 4, 6, 14, 16, 18, 20 rows. So once you do that for 20 rows, let's take this out of the way, you are going to put a um, pin on the number 18th stitch which is that one there and you're going to have 17 on one side and 17 on the other side and you are going to pick up the strand between the stitches so that you can add your stitches for the thumb so that's the middle one and you're going to be adding stitches on both sides on every right side row which is where you knit and purl. This is your right side, this is the wrong side. So let's do that. So we have our markers here and what we're going to do is that we are going to knit and purl and we are going to do that until we get to the pin that's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and don't worry about this stitch, we do have it on the internet and we're writing down the link so that you can know how to do this stitch. So knit, purl, and knit. Here we have our 17, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So now right before the middle one you're going to place your marker and see that strand in between one stitch and the other, that one there. So that one you're going to pick it up and put it on your needle. But since we do not want this gap to show when you add your stitches, you need to knit that stitch through the back. So we're going to knit that through the back and that would make a, a, a right stitch so now we're going to purl this one because that's the sequence we need to have and now we are going to place our marker now we're going to make one first so we're going to make one pick up that strand put it on your needle and we're going to do the same thing we're going to go and knit it through the back so we knit it through the back and now we put our marker there and now we have three 
for the thumb between the markers. So that would be a knit, a purl, a knit, and this needs to be, now let's see, yeah, this needs to be a knit and a purl. A knit and a purl. And you can distinguish them because all these that are like this are pearls. Every time you see a bump is because it's a knit. So knit and pearl on this stitch only. So knit and pearl. And this is what you do on the right side of your work. On the wrong side of your work, on every row, you're going to only knit. And I will start the row of only knit in a little bit. So knit, purl, knit. And on the way back, we are going to only knit. So knit. You're not going to add whole. stitches? No, mm -hmm. I don't add stitches. And I don't add stitches on the sides either. I just add stitches for the thumb. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to knit the whole row and I'll see you at the end of this. So now we're back on the thumb. We're we right already, side. yeah, we're on the right side and now we knitted our 17. And we're going to pass our marker, pick up the strand in between the two stitches, that one there, put it on your needle and knit it through the back. There we go. And now the next one we knit, the next one we purl, and the next one we knit. The one that has the pen is always a purl. So now we, we are going to make another one. We are going to pick up that strand, put it on the needle, and knit it through the back. So there we go, we knit it through the back, pass our marker, and now we keep knitting, knit and purl. And we do that until the end of the row. If it's easier for you, you can certainly move your pin up to the middle stitch so that you know that that is a purl. And that's the middle one. And then of course in the middle that would have to be, you, you add your stitch and then it's a purl, knit purl knit purl and then you can continue with whatever is next on the side you do not continue with whatever this is this is supposed to be a knit a purl knit purl the middle one is supposed to be a purl therefore the ones on the sides are knits and the next ones on the sides are purls and then of course here you you end with a knit because you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, the 17 is a, a knit. So it doesn't matter if that's a knit, you still need to continue with the sequence on the thumb by itself. So this is what happens when you already have your 15 stitches that you need for the thumb. What you do is that you put them in a pin and continue knitting with your stitch gathering that one in the middle and we'll get there in a minute. So now you see that our thumb is getting bigger and this is the last row in which we add a stitch so we pick up that one and we knit it and then we need to, that's a purl and knit, and this would have to be a purl because you do need to follow the sequence of your stitches. So if you know that that's the middle one and it's a purl, you count knit, purl, knit, purl. So I just did a knit and that would have to be a purl. So you do need to take that into consideration that you need to follow the sequence of your stitches. That's a purl, it's the middle one. And so now you continue knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and you add one there. So 
uh, let's see that's a knit and purl and knit purl knit purl and then we add our last stitch so we have 15 in total and then we pass our stitch and we continue with a knit so now we have our 15 in the middle 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 15 we continue with our stitch and then I need to knit the row back and I'll see you in a little bit so now I finished doing my 15 for the thumb and that's the middle one there so now on the next row I'm going to knit my 17 and then take off my marker and put the 15 for the thumb on a pen so, so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen I leave those there and take the other marker off and now I will continue with the back of the stitches of course I ended with a knit one and I'm going to start with a knit one and we do need the pearl to have the sequence but we'll make up for it on the way back so I knit and pearl and then of course I'm putting all those stitches together back there so knit and pearl and let's do this whole row and like that I can show you on the way back how to pick up that one so we can have a complete set we do need the 35 the initial 35 so let's go do this so we knit, purl, and knit. Now, on the way back, on the side in which you only knit, you're going to have your one, two, three, four, five, six, that's my grandson, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that is where we took off that stitch to make it for the thumb. And we do need the 35. And here we have 17 and 17. So we're going to make an extra stitch there in the middle. Put your yarn on top of your needle and knit through the back. And like that you make one and you have the extra stitch that you need. Now you have your 35. And here we have it. And I will see you at the end of this row. So this is what I'm talking about. You needed the middle one that we replaced because we are we're knitting and purling so that's a knit, a purl, a knit and that's the purl that we used for the thumb back here. So we we already replaced it and we continue the whole row with knit and purl and I will see you at the end of this one. So now after you, now what you need to do with your glove is that you need to continue until you have the, the, the amount of rows you need and then you need to do your ribbing and bind off and we do know how to do that. So you will continue here as here and this is the way we're going to pick up our stitches for our thumb 
So the stitches for the thumb is that you take your pin and you are going to put your stitches on your needle like this. Those sounds are from my grandson. He's eight months old and he does that. All children do that, but the, he is the funniest. Mm -hmm. So now what you do is that you pick up your 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 new yarn and you are going to do ribbing on the 15th on the 15 stitches so you have you're going to do two rows of ribbing so knit and purl knit and purl so knit and purl knit and purl so we do that the whole row and there we go and then we need to come back and this is this yarn you can use to uh to sew your thumb so, so pearl and knit and pearl and knit and you do that the whole row and then what you do is that on the next row we're going to bind off but we do want two rows of, of ribbing so it has a nice finish. So there we go, knit and curl. And we tighten these. And now on this row we're going to bind off. So we're going to knit and purl and bind off. Let me pull this one and bind off. So the next one we knit and bind off and this is the way you do it on the top of your glove also. This is the way you bind off. So this one is a knit and you bind off and this one is a pearl and bind off this is a knit bind off pearl and bind off knit bind off pearl And so knit and curl, knit a baby in the background. And now this is the last one. We're going to knit, bind off. And now we're going to cut the yarn there and we pass the <laughs> yarn through. So now we have the thumb already made. We have the back. This is the way I bind off also, the same as the thumb. And now we're going to sew the glove. So this is the way we're going to sew the glove. So like that we have the thumb there we're going to sew this with this and I started sewing from the bottom to the top here and we're going to go from knot to knot like we always do from knot to knot and from knot to knot and then of course you know more or less half the way up or at any stage you can start from the bottom to from the top 
to the bottom. So like this, we're going to pick up that strand there. We are going to go and mark another stitch here. That's my grandson, Nicholas. So we're going to go down to there. And we go from knot to knot again. From here to there. So make sure that this is nicely closed. And from there to there. So like that you can see only one stitch on that side there. So, see like that you see only one stitch. It looks very pretty when you sew it like that. So now we go and finish this. And I will see you at the end of uh, when I get to, the, to that part there. I'm done sewing from the top to the bottom. I'm going to pass my two yarns to the wrong side. And see how pretty that looks. That's a nice finish. That's the way it's supposed to look. So that's the seam there. And we pass it to the other side. And then on the other side we have our two strands. We make a little knot there. And now we're going to Weave our in ends in. Very easy. Take your yarn and weave it in. And we already went in other videos, we showed how to do this. Very simple, just weave them in. <laughs> and you cut it and you weave the other end. And I'll see you in a little bit. So, this is the thumb. And this was the middle stitch, so we can take that pin off now. And we're going to sew the, the ribbing that we have left over. So we go into that first stitch, come back and mark this stitch, go into the next one. And let's see, go from here to that there and from here to that one there so we can close all these nicely so make sure that all this is nicely done there and there so we don't have any ugly gaps so from here to there, and from here to there, and now we can see how nicely that looks. We go in there, and then we take the yarn to the back, and make our knot. And weave the yarn in. Let's open this a little. We can weave it in and then we can cut it. The other yarn that you started your thumb with, you need to weave that one in also. So there we go. And now we can cut it. You can even make a knot with those two that you have the tails left over so let's make a little knot with those because we have them and so why not so we can make a little knot there they're woven already so and this is the way that your glove looks so let's put the thumb there and you put your hand through and that's the way it looks look how pretty that is so that's the way it's finished. It's very nicely done. Very nicely finished. That's the seam 
on the side which is very nicely finished also make sure that your knits are nicely finished because after all that work where well, you want to have a nice product so there it is thank you very much for watching thank you